Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video about Brianna as well as NBA Youngboy, and let's not forget his baby mama, KL Marie. Before we get into this video, like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I took that weight on my shoulder. I took that weight on my shoulder. I so last night, you guys, I came out with a video about Brianna and K.L. Marie basically getting into it over YB and how Brianna basically got on Instagram Live and spilled all the tea. So y'all, when Brianna started spilling the tea, I didn't know what to do, y'all. I didn't know if I should go right, left, up, or down. And y'all remember when Dave's Rose Gold was talking about she was going sp she spilling the tea tonight on YB because she heard that man got her piece. That's how Brianna got on this live, y'all, spilling the tea on K.L. Marie. And it ate her alive, y'all. She was all on Brianna live just trying to tell her to just be quiet stop talking and get out the live y'all and Brianna kept going if y'all have not yet watched that video, go ahead and go look on my channel because it's the last video I just uploaded. As for KL Marie, she has not really said much since then y'all, or did she? Rather KL Marie responded or not, did not stop Brianna from waking up today and going off again about the same matter y'all. Let's go ahead and see what Brianna had to say today about KL Marie. Y'all be asking me questions that is out there for y'all. Ever make you feel uncomfortable? We was just cool. She just was paying the people in the store for my clothes. That's the money that he gave him for us to go shopping. That's how we thought we was cool. We was by ourselves, walking around in New York, by ourselves, eating, laughing, talking about our personal life. That's why I didn't understand why she went on Twitter and tried to play with me. Don't fucking play with me now. You was just now with me. You was just now with me. But of course she did that because she knows. She knows that I'm going to keep talking. She knows that. She knows that I'm going to sit up here and I'm not going to let nobody play with me. Because when I was around and I was talking to him, like, no, fuck no, at all. This bitch is weird. That's what the fuck she is. He told her to get my phone because he didn't know how to reset my phone. So this bitch going to do my text messages. There's nothing in my text messages for you. Don't go do my phone looking at my text messages. What's in my text messages for you? That's how it started. It started because Kay went on my Instagram and she I mean, went on my Twitter and she commented on my Twitter and she knew them people was going to send me shit. She kept trying to sneak this. Like, don't fucking sneak this me at all. Don't fucking sneak this me. You just was asking me to take pictures of you. Go on through my phone, keep looking at my text messages because she, she ain't really know what the fuck was going on between us at all. She ain't know what was going on at all. Because before, when, when, before the shit even fucking happened, before I even fucking left, she was like, why do you got to talk to him? He going to tell me, he going to tell me what you, he going to tell me what you said anyway. He, he don't tell you everything. He ain't going to tell you everything because, bitch, you even asked me. I'm trying to figure out why you were still in the car, why he still have you around. Bitch, ask your nigga why he still got me around. Clearly, he had me around for a reason. Don't keep asking me questions when he not around. She kept asking me questions when he not around because she's fucking fake. She didn't know what was going on. She didn't know what to believe. She didn't know what to fucking believe. When I when when I got in the car, she was shocked as shit when I got in the car. And any and if, if anything, why would you have me sitting right behind her? Because if y'all gonna tell some shit, tell the real shit on what's really. She don't know how to play her role, and that's what he and that's exactly what he told her. She don't know how to play it. And ain't no she talking about I'm oh I, I'm lies. I'm twisting shit up. No, I'm saying what's really real. You don't know how to play your role. You don't know what you're doing. He put you in a position for you to for you to play your role right and you're not playing it right. So that's what it is. And that's exactly what he told her in front of me. When he told that girl, when he told that girl to turn me into a bad bitch, her whole mood changed. Make her into a bad bitch. That's what he told her, told me. Make get her whatever she want. The, he, she was mad. She didn't felt uncomfortable. She didn't want to give me nothing. When I'm supposed to fight the girl, beat the girl up? No, I ain't gonna beat the girl up. She know who her role is and she ain't playing it right. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make that, make sure that don't uh, take her spot. Come on now, let's speak on it. What you mean how I think, how do we, how do I think we cool? Because he, we talk in front of his face. She knew what it was. 
Well, y'all, I'm not sure how much Brianna said was the truth, y'all, but it seems like NBA Youngboy is in New York currently. And then y'all remember yesterday, I also reported that some tea was sent in about Jania Michelle and baby Casey being in New York because there were rumors that NBA Youngboy said that he finally wanted to see baby Casey or something like that. I really don't know if Brianna was trying to tell us too much, y'all, or if she was just giving us a little bit, but to me, she gave us more than enough because she she clarified that NBA Youngboy is in New York right now and that's where her and KL Marie had went shopping and that's where she was able to purchase her Gucci shoes from her night of escapades. Well, KL Marie has now been outed again for the umpteenth time because she just cannot stop being sneaky, y'all. It's just in her DNA. Well, KL Marie has not been so innocent either, you guys. She woke up today or maybe finished off yesterday with a bang boom to the whole situation. She got in her DMs and was messaging back and forth with I'm not really sure who, but somebody sent the tea in, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into what KL Marie had to say about Brianna and NBA Youngboy's other baby mama, Jania Michelle. It seems like since KL Marie got this little girl put inside of her that her confidence has just gone through the roof and she has been acting like she just knows that her spot is irreplaceable. Michelle, you guys, there were some messages that were leaked online about Jania Michelle. Basically, she was DMing someone about her mothering towards baby Casey, as well as her feelings towards NBA Youngboy and a whole bunch of other things. But we're going to get into that right now and read it. I'm really not sure if these are real or fake messages. However, these messages were sent in. So let's go ahead and see what the tea is. Well, the person starts off and says, hey girl, I don't think you will reply, but anyways, I'm a big fan and I wanted to say you're doing a good job raising Casey by yourself without YB. Jania replies, oh, thank you. I appreciate your support, girl. I wouldn't even be here without y'all support. I do appreciate it so much. I try my best to give my child everything without YB help. He don't help me with nothing. And his mom is always texting me saying how bad of a mama I am, but I do nothing but support for my baby. So the person says, you really replied, oh my God, I didn't think you would. Look, I started crying because I thought you was too famous to reply to me. So then it continues, girl, I'm not even famous. These followers don't mean nothing. I'm a human just like you. So the person says, I wish I was famous, LOL, but would you go back with YB? Y'all was so cute. Jania replies, girl, he want me still, but I got my eyes on a new ninja. He old news. He was just trying to text me the other day. So then the person says, oh, you should just get back with him. So it looks like that Jania might have sent a screenshot of Kentrell texting her saying, I want you back. You the only one I love. And then Jania says, don't show no one because I don't want no one knowing. Well, that cat is out the bag. So the person says, okay, I want, but what do you think about young boy having all these babies? Jania said, well, I'm glad for him having a girl on the way from K. Still don't like the B, but I'm only worrying about me in 2020 and I'm staying away from social media a lot and just going to just care for my baby. So then the person says, Jania, I'm so happy for you. You just continue doing what you're doing. But the question is, is if you in that NBA player date? Jania says, girl, Girl, let's not speak on that. Then Jania continues, Control is a good dad, but he just needs to stay with one girl. He always was trying to get at my friends, so I couldn't even have them around me when I was with Control. 
He would even do it when I was there next to him. So I just couldn't be with him no more. So that just goes to show that whatever Brianna was talking about as far as KL Marie and her sitting down in front of YB and having a conversation and KL Marie just trying to act brand new like she don't really know what's going on. And Brianna said she know what it is. Just because Jania is no longer with YB does not mean that his ways have not changed. All these girls in YB's circus right now, and I'm talking about all of his sister wives, y'all, are in competition for this man's love. And no one is willing to give in to the other female and be second best. No matter what YB shows them and continues to dish out to them and call it love, they're still gonna be with him, y'all. Brianna was just saying yesterday on her live that she has pictures of her with Kentrell and how she was in the car with him and KL Marie and she was on the third row and KL Marie and YB were on the second row. She said she didn't have to show us because she has nothing to prove to us. But today she still did a post and delete and posted a small clip of her in the car with YB. So long, so long. Sleeping from sofa to sofa. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Here's some brand new Gucci, low some Gucci walking. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now, now it's business when I walk. Watch out, I 